Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Alan. We're still going at it on this reverse flow from the last video. I'm still waiting on some stuff to come in to do the tables on the trailer one. So it's still on standby right now. This is one of the chamber doors that I'm putting together. Just getting it framed in right now. You can see I got all those lines on top right there where I'm clamping. Whenever I do the doors, I'll mark the top sides of every one. That way when I try to put them back in, I'm not trying to figure out which way they came out. I already know that that's the top. Here I'm drilling a hole out to build the handle into it. With this Evolution plug cutter, I'm telling you, this thing is a time saver. <clears throat> I think I use it with regular bits more than anything, but I do use it with plug cutters quite a bit. I got a set of them in. That's a little piece of half inch round tubing. It's used to sleeve the whole thing. I like to run that drill through it after I tack it in, just in case the tacks bled through a little bit. And that bit will knock them right on out. It's a process to put these things together. A little heat to bend it over, then put another washer on it. And this is where it'll set in. What I'm grinding off there uh, uh, tack spacers right there when I hang the door back up because it's really hard to hold that thing up and put the clamps on it at the same time so I usually tack spacers in and then just have to clean them out I got this one about ready for paint. I just gotta get it all cleaned up and everything. And this is a 40 by 20 reverse flow with a 20 by 20 vertical chamber. Then I'm fixing to jump on into uh, getting a stand going for a 20 by 20 vertical smoker. Actually a couple stands. Cause I need to do a couple of those. got to get me a new slide assembly for this saw I've got two of these saws and they're different models I got a couple new tools in that I wanted to show y'all one of them was a rotary tool a cordless one I've had them corded for a while but I wanted to get a few cordless things in and this thing has been very good it comes with quite a few items in there Lot of that stuff I don't even use but I do have specific uses for these things and this has came in really handy since I had it. It seems to hold a charge really well but I got that thing in and I'll be using it a lot. Uh, you'll see it soon because I'll be doing cutouts and stuff and it's real good for cleaning out in those little pieces and stuff. I also got my air reel in I'm trying to keep this air hose up off the floor and out of the way. <clears throat> Try to get that thing hooked up today. I went and got some fittings for it. I don't know if it'll help that much. I mean, it'll keep the hose off the floor, but the hose isn't in the way that much, so it might not be that big a deal, but it will be nice to have. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all those. I got those in, and I've been meaning to show them in a video. So let's get back to work right now.
Here I'm just cutting out for those verticals I was talking about that I did the stands for. And this is just the process of getting it all cut out. It's a small smoker, but it actually takes a while to cut it all out. I had to move inside. That sun was killing me out there. <laughs> it done got hot, and that sun is just beaming right there in that spot all day long. Until the evening, and the uh, building is shading it right there. But this is the doors. You can kind of see those marks on there now that I was talking about. It just let, like I say, they just let me know. I don't have to guess when it comes time to frame them in. But anyway, that'll pretty much do it on this one. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. And I'll come back on the next one. We'll get into these verticals and everything.